What's good? What's up? I'm back to keep in touch with you on your spiritual shit. Bruh, just sitting here. Um, and now I'm going to do a Pisces read. So we got the moon. We got the moon out, out here. Hold on, let me pull it up, straightened up a little bit. So we got the moon. Okay. We got the world. We got Ace of Wands. We got a uh, family setting. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. And then um I got my deck right here, so I'm gonna cut these holes in threes. One, two, three, and then after that, I'm gonna pull the uh first the last three cards after I get in tune with this reading. So um from what I'm seeing, Pisces, um it's possible that Somebody has proposed to you or is trying to propose to you. That's what I am getting. And um, you have achieved a lot and you've been through a lot. So you achieved a lot. You worked your ass off. You a go-getter. You don't ask nobody for shit. You don't rely or depend on nobody for shit. You a lover. A uh, very nurturing, mothering type empress energy. So you see your long term goals. You feel what I'm saying, and you clear about whatever it is that you want. And um, it could be looking at that moon card. As I'm looking at it, it could be some motherfuckers. If you if you worked, you could have quick got fired or whatever but if you are working or was working this moon um card is telling me that it was some co-workers that you know what i'm saying possibly you was very insecure and intimidated by you when it came to working that's what i'm getting and you also in the process of healing as well, uh, Pisces. So that's a good damn thing you did. You've been uh, doing your uh, inner work. And um, you're completing, you have completed some cycles, whether that's both bad or good. And you're very intuitive. And you should like, if you quit a job or isn't working or got fired or just isn't working at all or can't keep a job for a long period of time, anytime you're dealing with the world and things of the world type shit, you could be some type of lead guy, caretaker, caregiver, you're a nurturer, you're a lover. So you like, you like to help people. So you should tap into like, healing work psycho psychic development type shit because you're very psychic like you're big with energy picking up on energy negative and um good energy and if you're single you possibly you know could be a loner you love the enjoyment of your own company or whatever the case may be and if you are single pisces like i said I mean, um, like I say, mostly go out, have fun with friends or someone that you love or that's closest to you, you know, and get into nature. You feel what I'm saying? Get into nature, bro. Explore nature, you know, do some garden work or something. You feel what I'm saying? Just do something that you really can't connect to that you enjoy doing you feel what i'm saying outside of working for somebody else maybe you need to work for you maybe it's time to do work on you and work for you 
So yeah, that's what you need to most definitely focus on. And um, as far as like if you are in a relationship, because I you never know if somebody's single or in a relationship or just mingling. But if you are in a serious relationship, I'm getting like you're not one who's very argumentative. You feel what I'm saying? You explain yourself and you try to see all sides when it comes to um, any situation. Um, if you've been holding back, like trying to talk to your lover or have a heart to heart conversation with them. You should just go ahead and put your pride and ego to the side and go ahead and, you know, basically think about what you're going to say before you say it. If you need to clear the air when it comes to a lover, a best, uh, a lover or friends or people near you who love you, it's about time to have that, um, conversation so you can be clear on where y'all stand you'll feel much better you feel what i'm saying after taking action toward this person that you need to have this conversation with it also goes for uh emotional issues as well so yes and Let's see. Create like. Create like moments or get in a mood that's very loving. More love. You feel what I'm saying? Don't hold on to hate, anger, or grudges. Don't be judgmental. Just step back. Because if you're going through some situations, step back and observe before you respond or take action. You feel what I'm saying or say the wrong thing. But speak up when it comes to whatever situation and circumstances that you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Don't hold back. Have this heart-to-heart conversation with the person that you love most. It, it's not going to hurt or harm anything. Don't hold everything in and, and wait until it builds up and you flip the fuck out. You feel what I'm saying? And then after that, that's it type shit. So, and if you are single, maybe uh, it's possible that it's time to meet someone new or come across a best friend or friend or associate. You feel what I'm saying? Or deeper commitments will be coming towards you. Somebody might be coming or moving slow or fast moving towards you to make a commitment to you. And then as far as Pisces, if you're in a relationship, um, there's going to be, like I said, I feel like some type of mar marriage. Like this person possibly want to, you know, settle down and offer a deep deeper commitment when it comes to y'all love and Pisces you've been wanting this for a long time so you got this and you're happy about where you are right now you feel what I'm saying so yeah that is most definitely what I'm getting and if y'all are not about to like um have a child or a birth is coming along then this card is telling me that Maybe you could be a loving, mothering, or nurturing person to your lover, um, kids or kid, if that makes sense. Take what resonates. And then let's go and get into it when it comes to the cards that we flipping right now. So we got this, the two of wands. We got the Empress, so you the Empress Pisces, and then we got the Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands. Okay, Let's see what else up under that bag, baby. What's on the bottom? Okay. All right. 
So you're the empress. And like I said, you're very uh, mothering, nurturing, loving, caring, caring, patient, very kind, or whatever the case may be. You just need to stop holding back how you really feel. Say what you mean and mean what the fuck you say, Pisces. Stand on your shit. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what's up. And then uh, Queen of Wands is telling me you're intuitive as fuck. Very intuitive. Um, very outgoing. You friendly as fuck. And you try to approach um, relationships. You feel what I'm saying? Like, with a, like, you're very refreshing type shit. When you approach a relationship, you're not too aggressive or whatever the case is. If anything, you kind of hold back your emotions or what you really want to say at times. But you always find your power to step in and say whatever it is that you need to say. But yes, um, think of the consequences of the things that you do and say also. And stay focused on what keeps you moving. You feel what I'm saying? You most definitely is independent as fuck. And I already made that clear. And you admire. A lot of people admire you. And your lover admire you. And you might have friends, family members, or friends who admire you. Or coworkers who admire you. Or could be against you either or. And you never put motherfuckers down or but belittle them Pisces like you have a heart made of gold type shit. You don't let nobody dog the fuck out you or do you any type of way, Pisces. You feel what I'm saying? You just need to uh twelve twelve, you just need to like say what you, you feel, bro. Don't don't hold back. Because what if you hold some shit in and feel guilty or regret behind not saying what you really felt to somebody? You feel what I'm saying? So um, you are moving forward in life, taking a big, big, um, making big, you moving forward in life and you taking big risks. You feel what I'm saying? And your person, if you, like I said, if you're in a relationship, y'all taking these, the, these risks and making sacrifices to have a happy ending, happy life, happy wife, happy husband, happy, happy life, kids, whatever. And you moving forward or whatever and exploring, um, you'll be exploring and exploring and leaving your comfort zone if you haven't already. And you, of course, are going to be uh, traveling and exploring uh, different opportunities and around the world with your uh, person or whatever the case may be. So, yes, that's most definitely good shit. Real talk. <laughs> Good shit, good shit, good shit. Emperor. We had the Empress already that came out. Yep, the Empress came out and the Emperor came out. Let's see what else we get for you, Pisces, before I go. Then we got the Magician. So we have the Emperor, we had the Empress, and we got the Magician. So you're being very creative uh, at this moment. Um, you're trying to find things that you find joy in. You don't like working for other people. You feel what I'm saying? And it's not that you can't keep a job. You just can't find that niche, what it is that you really want when it comes to working. So your best bet is to, you know, preaching the word. Guiding, leading, helping kids or teenagers who need your help. <gasps> Excuse me, people with mental illness, getting abused. Things of that nature because you're so loving, empathetic, and can pick up on one's energy. Feel what I'm saying? And you also manifest this marriage, this, this, this man that you with or this woman that you're with. And you are... you. Like I said, you'll go get it. 
getter. You're a inspiration to others. You uh, are very intuitive, motivated, and you are determined to bring um, success and love. So that's, man, that's good. Yes. And you're, um, if you're not on your spiritual shit, you will be on your spiritual shit sooner than you think. You're con you or you will be converting your spiritual energy into the the real world type shit. Like you started to become very spiritual and tapping into who you really are as a human being. Empress came out again, <laughs> so this is how I know this is possibly a serious relationship type shit. Then we got two of cups. Two of Cups. What else? Um, you believe in God and a higher power. And you believe uh, in your uh, higher self. You will be celebrating and having new projects or whatever. Eventually, uh, Pisces could be celebrating that new marriage or that new love. One uh, four four one. So this is what you wanted for a long time. And you finally got what you want. A period of happiness. You're very happy at the present time. And if you're not, you will be happy. Expect happiness. So yes, this is like the people that you fuck with the most, I'm guessing, that you turn to on a daily when you feel what I'm saying. Um, when you feeling like you happy and you want to, you know, just relax, chill back and unwind type shit. This is your little circle of friends or family members or co-workers who you like to spend quality time with. Or you'll be sharing the good news with your friends, family members, and co-workers when it comes to this new uh, proposal and love, commitment, marriage, business opportunity, or whatever the case may be. Because it don't have to be any of those things I named. It could have been, um, you feel what I'm saying? You might start a new business by yourself. You just never know. So, yes, yeah, just be looking out for greatness, um, Pisces. Be looking out for greatness. <laughs> Still pulling good shit out for you, bro. That good shit, happy family, bro. Long uh, lasting relationships. Marriage, like I keep saying. Marriage, marriage, marriage. Happy home. Everything that's of good, Pisces. Nothing but good coming your way. And you can and there and you um could be expecting more than what you get. You feel what I'm saying? You so fucking brilliant and smart, bruh, and intelligent and fucking intuitive. It's not even funny. People underestimate their uh powers and shit like that. But you you know how powerful you are. You know that, like, you're a helper or healer type shit. You know you're here to help people. Or be a light or love to someone else. Or to save others from chaos and conflict. Ain't no telling what your calling is or your duty in life. Girl, talk so. And I kept seeing gifts, talents, or you're a healer, or whatever the case may be. And this means gifts. You know what I'm saying? Like you're very generous. You like to help, love, lead, guide, and teach people. You have some spiritual, or it don't have to be spiritual. You just gifted. Whether that's in with the with the uh, your mouthpiece, with your mental state. Um, you feel what I'm saying? Whether that's with your hands, 444, gifted in, you know, business, work, money, you know, that a gift can be anything. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. 
That's what I'm getting. A lot of uh prosperity, bro, and achievements. Just happy every goddamn thing. <laughs> Real talk. And like whatever you do, you're not gonna expect no money out of it. But you will, you feel what I'm saying? Earn some paper. You will income and revenue will be coming in. Especially the, the greatest thing that you can do is do a job and not want nothing for it. You feel what I'm saying? Like I don't want to be paid for helping and leading and guiding and teaching people. And if in due time, if spirit tells me to get some money and accept some gifts, then okay, you feel what I'm saying? But right now, bro, you are a helper, bro. And you help other people or is going to eventually, you know, um give to like give back. Like you possibly want, you know, you might be in the energy of saving homeless people or giving to homeless people or giving to the charity type shit. You know, so it's nothing but good, bro. Nothing but good for for uh you Pisces. Whether you're a woman or a man. So yeah, that's the energy that you're in and it feels good. I my whole heart feeling straight right now. <laughs> that's all. That's it. Just good, man. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. You are uh basically, you know, the high priestess. Spiritual enlightenment, you feel what I'm saying? You got uh divine knowledge and wisdom, like you so fucking intelligent and intuitive, like you can lead a whole fucking church if you wanted to. You feel what I'm saying? That's how powerful you are. So trust in um, your higher power. You feel what I'm saying? And the universe and everything else. And um, your psyche will continue to increase. And nothing but good will come to you. You will have a lot of opportunities and options or whatever the case may be coming your way. So you have a, a blessed day and I'm at.